Good evening guys, just another quick video tonight, um, this one's actually another soupy video, uh, only this one's got a bit of a twist, this one's actually for a switch. Um, I've got a nine year old that was originally kibble fed, but she was also fed canned food, which is a great bonus for me, it makes this a lot easier. Um, all I'm doing is her soup, um, now she's with me, I'm going to change over to raw, as is a given. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it with her this time, she's been here. 24 hours now, and she's already eaten raw chicken puree without even realising it. Now, this girl's owner's dropped her off with a whole heap of food. And what she's not even fed is dying cat food. Now, I usually keep that one on hand and the kitten version. Because most people seem to feed their ferrets dying canned food for some reason. Um, but in this case, she likes that one, so that's what we're sticking with. But she's also been fed these. Now, I hate friskies. I think it's disgusting. Doesn't matter what part of friskies it is, I think it's a disgusting product. But she also enjoys this a lot. So, we're going to mix both of these together with some diced chicken thighs. Now, this is about a quarter of a thigh, just out of a packet. Um, I get about a dozen in a packet, which is about a kilo. That's 2.2 pounds for the Americans. And also, I'm putting in a spoonful of plain thick cream. Nothing else added into it. Let's see if I can find the ingredients. Now, I don't use cream a lot. I ever use it for potentially dis difficult switches. So far, this girl won't eat chicken on its own, but she will eat it if I puree it with all these really sort of questionable products and I'll probably catch a little bit of fire for it but if she eats it too bad. Because clearly it works. Now the chicken's in the blender. Put the dine in. That's what this one looks like. Not the most appetising thing, actually. Before I get too far away, I will put the cream in. There you go, fresh cream. Just going to put a prop spoonful in. Most ferrets will accept cream. Even my raw fed ferrets from birth will accept cream. Um, it's obviously quite appealing to all of them. But it's just an extra insurance that she will take this. Just add in the friskies now. This one is actually gravy with chicken and tuna pieces. Surely most dime products I've found. Um, I made another soup for her yesterday. I'm making a fresh soup for almost every second, or well, every day, actually. Um, I am finding that she has slowed down since the first couple of dishes. And she's a little bit more sustained and better for longer. I do suspect that she is... Together. It's not the most appealing thing, I tell you what, it certainly smells, but for her, this is apparently crack. Add a little bit of water to it just to get more consistency.
check for any lumps because she doesn't really like to chew on things I've found. There's still a little bit of chicken pieces in there but I'm not going to worry about too much. Because um, I do want to get her a bit more accustomed to chewing into straight chicken. Now, Alright, this is actually the old soup that I made. Adding a little bit of new. She's actually eating a whole bowl four times a day. Which, again, I'm quite happy to continue with because it means that she's getting some raw into her. And the rest of it just goes into a little container. Now, some people say this is wrong. I should just starve her or just put the meat in next to her kibble, the dry food. That's all good and well, but we're talking about a nine year old ferret whose brother's already died from insulinoma. And she's very frail. And really, this is just the easiest way to get her to eat quite a lot of food very quickly. She really does like her canned food because it's nice and soft and it's quite rich. Um, but like, she eats it. She doesn't need encouragement. She doesn't fight me on it. She's quite happy to just eat it straight from the bowl. She is blind, so she relies heavily on her nose. Anyways, um, that's a quick soupy. Doesn't matter what ferret it is, you can use that method. As I said, I'm only doing it as a transition. It will not be a permanent fixture of her diet. flavor so you can hide just about anything in it and they won't even know so I use the same method for cats and even really really picky rescue dogs works brilliantly and all it is quick clean up job done I'll do another quick video of her eating it Alright, so this is Nim, just following on to the bit before. You can see her curled up in her blankets. And she's nine years old. And I just made soupy for her. All nice and... Oops, that's a bit dark. There we go. What have I got? Alright, bit of a blunder there with the phone. Um, you can see her dry food. She's also been fed Dine Kitten Biscuits, which is the bottom of the bottom. Um, but, again, some mats. Again, she's got better kibble mixed in, so she's better. You coming out, Nim? Nim. Pull you out, darling. There you go. She's a little bit lean. Not sure if you can see a cataracts. She is almost entirely blind. A bit wobbly. Come on, go. Not sure what's going on. How's that? There you have it. She likes it with a little bit of warm water, but she does prefer a fairly thick soup. Yeah, there you go. Nine year old kibble fed ferret eating. A soupy that has raw chicken in it. She gets that whole bowl four times a day at the moment. She gets fed every morning at five. Then she gets fed again at nine. At one. And then she gets a big bowl to hold her over the night. I'll refill this before I go to bed. Good girl.